Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop and in this video we're going to be setting the wing to the fuselage. Before we go any further with this video, uh, I need to warn anybody that might have photo sensitivity um, that there is going to be flickering in this video. Really apologise for that, there are some camera settings that messed up um, but I didn't really want to waste the footage as such um, and to refilm it all once I've discovered that the problem would mean building a new aeroplane. So yes, it's not great quality um, but I wanted to warn people before they started uh, watching the video. If you are sensitive to that sort of thing, I strongly recommend that you don't watch this video. Thank you. Right, so I think yesterday, yesterday I didn't do much at all, I just dropped to poles. Um, that was because I had like this migraine and it just wouldn't go away. But today, I'm alright, so we're getting back to it. So I've already put the T knots in, I've not glued them in yet. Um, yeah, I put the T knots in, they're just T knots you pull them through. Um, yeah, got them in. So now I'm going to go on to the bolt support. So, how I'm going to go about doing this is these have got a bit of bend to them. So, they've got a lot of bend to them. So, be careful because you don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. Pretend, pretend that didn't happen. Go to it. Um, so yeah, these got a lot of bend into them. I'm not going to show you, but yeah. So in theory, if we put these on and tighten them in, they should bend round the wing. Obviously, there's going to be bits that stick out a bit. I'm not too worried about that. And you also want to round them off a bit because it's going to be quite difficult to do it once it's in on the oven. Yeah. Right, so there I just rounded off. I was just looking for a fine bit of sandpaper to get around it, but I'm not too worried because when it goes on there's going to be a bit of filler that I'm going to put in there, just you'll see when I come to it. So, I've already dry fitted these, I'm not going to bother doing it again. So, how I'm going to do it is one way. So I'm going to use the bolts that come with it and I'm going to put a good bit of grease on them. The grease is just to stop any epoxy sticking to them, and yes, that is a lot of grease. Mint me. They ought to get like right up, like all the way up the wall, because these come quite long. So get round the top as well. Get round the top in there. So that's one. So the grease is to stop the epoxy going into the T-nut and into round the threads of this. Because if that happens we're not getting this wing off. Well, uh, why there is ways, but it's not going to be easy to get this one off. Um, yeah, put them aside at the moment, just on top of the grease lid or on the floor. Right, so if you use four minute epoxy, like I'm going to, or even five minute epoxy, don't put it in front of your heater or anything to heat it up to get it to move quickly. If you do that, it'll go off far too quickly and you won't have time to do anything with it. And you'll need to scrape it off, sand it back, and then use a different type of glue or just glue it in a different way. So 
so as soon as you start mixing these they're going to start going off So that's them starting to go off now. So you want to get it mixed up really, really quickly, but also thoroughly. So just along the back, you really don't need too much. I've honestly mixed up far too much. Um, apparently I've not even mixed it properly either. There wasn't it. Plonk that down, the greased ball going through it. So how I'm going to do it is just use the tea nut to hold it in place. So it will overflow as such, doesn't matter. Once you've got the other one in, just get a bit of kitchen roll and wipe out what you think needs wiped out. Because the bit you can see isn't doing anything. Can try and get these straight because it makes them look a bit better once it's covered. Never mind, I'm doing my cross. I don't know which way to do them. I'll do one like that. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Yeah, so we'll do it like this. So now, turn it over, and with the lines that you drew on the bottom of it earlier, 
get it lined up with them. I'm just gonna leave it. Just gonna leave it to go off. Just tighten them up a bit, a little bit more. And I'm just gonna leave it. I'm literally just gonna leave it till it dries. So yeah, I'll come back to you when it's dry. Right, so this is where we've got to. Um, got these glued in there, drive, had the wing off, checked up. Um, so now, I need to look at the instructions, but I think the next bit to do is to get the fin and tail plank glued on and start blocking up the front. Never mind, the next bit to do might be to get the bottom on, but before I can get the bottom on, I want to glue the T-nuts in. So yeah, that won't take too long. It's just, I need to do it. Um, I need to do that before I put the bottom on or it's gonna be nigh on impossible. Yeah. So I'm going to have a quick look at the instructions. Right, so the next bit to do is to get the fin and tail plane in. Yeah, fin and tail clean. And then... Let me think. So, when I was gluing this together, I actually missed a bit. There's two, I'm going to call them leading edges, that go on the leading edge of the tail plane. There. Yeah. a little something like this. So I've already sanded these to fit just about, but I am going to line them up the front. I don't know if you can see, but here they're slightly too big and I'm going to sand there, not here. Because this is laser cut straight, I'll never get it sanded like that. Not bang on anyway. It's also known as aliphatic resin or PVA or that stuff.
I probably should have been talking that entire time, but oh well. That's how you do it. As you've just seen, it's quite an easy process to get the wing to fit the fuselage. I probably made it look more difficult than it actually is, but it's done now. The next bit will probably be getting the tail end sorted out with the tailplane and fin, but that'll be in the next video. So if you're enjoying this sort of content, please leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.